Okay, I got my uh, amp meter right there. Homemade amp meter. It's got the shunt. It's got the, the multimeter hooked up to the cables. Or hooked up to the, the shunt to measure the voltage drop in between uh, the two points on the shunt. And I got my workpiece over there. And the shunt is hooked up to the workpiece or ground. And I'm going to fire up this, uh, this Power 200. Everlast Power Arc 200. I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to set it at an amperage. And the multimeter uh, is, and shunt mechanism is uh, actually calibrated. So whatever the, uh, the multimeter reads is the actual amperage that, it, that is going through the shunt. Um, I'm going to fire up the Power Arc 200. I'm going to set it at roughly 120 amps. And uh, this has adaptive arc force control, which means if I hold a long arc, it'll have one amperage. And if it feels me getting close, if I'm running a short tight arc, it will uh, increase the amperage so it doesn't stick. So basically, you can keep that rod almost touching um, underneath your weld bottle, and it'll keep going because it turns up the amps. Fire it up. Boost it to 120. Got 120 on the dial. That's our multimeter, and whatever number that reads is uh, the actual amperage going through that shunt. I'm going to light up a 7018 rod, eighth inch, and it also have, has hot start, so uh, it doesn't. It tends not to stick very much at the at the initial start, and uh, that adaptive. You'll you'll see the amps. The amps will actually increase from 120, and they can increase all the way up 30 amps higher if I start burying that rod to keep it from sticking. Light up our rod.
Okay, I've got it set. The machine set at 80 amps. I'm going to do a long arc with 80 amps, and then I'm going to do a short arc. Okay, that last run was at 80 amps. Set right at 80. Hope you found this video educational and informational.